Ahoy there, mates. Hello, friends. Greetings from the seven seas, and welcome aboard the VHS Pirate Ship. And welcome to Reek of the Week, a little segment here on the VHS Pirate Ship where I explore different aspects of 80s and 90s nostalgia. That's right. It's a look back on what we perceive to be the good old days, so climb aboard and let's sail down memory lane because it's time for the show that has the sweet stench of childhood memories and reeks of nostalgia. It's... Reek of the Week! And just in time for St. Patrick's Day, this Reek of the Week is going to be all about the Shamrock Shake. That's right, the minty milkshake concoction contrived by the king of fast food, McDonald's. Introduced in 1970, the Shamrock Shake continues to be an annual treat for anybody who likes mint. Not me! I hate mint bullshit! Oh, it's true. I hate mint stuff. But this is so popular, I figured it was worth talking about. Yep. People love these damn things. I don't know why. I think they're an abomination, but to each his own. As I mentioned, they are annual. McDonald's only puts these on the menu around St. Patrick's Day. Or at least they used to do it that way. I'm not entirely sure if they still do or not. It was kind of like the McRib, where it's a limited time menu item. But at least with the Shamrock Shake, you always knew it was coming out in March. Whereas the McRib was always unknown as to when it was coming out. They seemingly would release it whenever the hell they felt like it. As I mentioned, the Shamrock Shake was introduced in 1970, but its real momentum would start to take shape through the 1980s. And it's strange how it became so popular considering it's so simple. I mean, really, it's just a vanilla milkshake with mint flavoring in it. It's such a simple idea, and sometimes the simplest ideas become the biggest hits. You combine a simple idea with a clever name like Shamrock Shake, and you have yourself a marketing success. And the name doesn't tell you it's minty at all. It's just implied and inferred. And everybody knows the Shamrock Shake is a mint milkshake. But how does everybody know that? Well, it's because of the marketing. It's so ingrained in us that Shamrock Shake means mint. But shamrocks do not taste like mint. And it's weird to think about that. I mean, why does shamrock shake equal mint? Because the marketing works. But if it were a true shamrock shake, then it would taste like ground up grass. Rabbits would love it. People, not so much. And the marketing for the shamrock shake started off pretty simple. And they tried to market it to the kids demographic by introducing a new McDonald Land character, Uncle O'Grimacy. Grimace's Irish uncle. In case you're not familiar with the backstory of Grimace, he's not only Ronald McDonald's best friend, but also a fiend for milkshakes. So it does make sense that McDonald's would introduce the Shamrock Shake using Grimace, or in this case, his Irish uncle. And I am willing to bet that everybody in the world has either forgotten about this guy or has never even heard of him. But regardless of that, Uncle O'Grimacy is an actual character and was a character that McDonald's didn't stick with very long as he was dropped pretty soon after. And another aspect of the Shamrock Shake that is forgotten about out and was promptly dropped by McDonald's is the Shamrock Sunday, an item that was paired up with the Shamrock Shake and was also only available around St. Patrick's Day. It was the exact same thing as their other Sundays, except this had a nasty neon green syrup on it. I mean, look at that. Does that look appealing? Ew! Oh God! Oh God! Oh. Yeah, it looks terrible. It looks gross, and you don't have to be somebody who hates mint like I do to think this is disgusting. Well, I'm pretty sure that McDonald's felt the same way as this was quickly buried. But the Shamrock Shake came out looking just fine and is still a nice bit of annual fare for anybody who likes this kind of shit. Yep, I hate it. But other people love it, and there's no denying the Shamrock Shakes 50-year dominance. And though it's only available for a short time annually, the Shamrock Shake changed the milkshake landscape, which is probably not a real thing and certainly not something I ever thought I would say. So on that note, I bid you a do do and that wraps it up for this week's Reek of the Week. I hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to hit subscribe and give a like and happy St. Patrick's Day. Be sure not to drink and drive and take care out there and I'll see you next time only on Captain Adams VHS Pirate Ship.